Hey, Max. Oh, hey there, Neil. What you doing? Oh, just reading some comic books. How about you? Oh, I was just playing this toy piano. I don't understand you, Neil. Well, there's no reason to be rude, Max. My name is John now. You will refer to me only as John, and I will respond only to John. Look at this hat I'm wearing. I am very disappointed in you, young man. Jeez, Max, what's gotten into you? It's John now, Neil. The name is John. And I'm unhappy because I want to play sports. Hey, um, John. Do you kids like... J no. Well, I mean, I was just, I was just thinking... Yeah. Don't. Look at this hat I'm wearing. You should be preparing for the great sacrifice. I'm going to cut you with this knife. There's something I need to tell you before that. Okay. I will do a deconstructive reading of the film Citizen Kane, in which I try to prove that because of the non-linear and highly interpretive nature of the narrative, which is primarily interviewed with various characters about the relation to Charles Kane, any real knowledge of Kane himself is decentered and ultimately unobtainable. Because the knowledge of who the real Charles Kane was is the person who both the character Thompson and the audience, it acts like a center to the text, and knowing that this is unobtainable is what keeps the meaning of the film unfixed and indetermined. Well, that, that sounds interesting. Almost as interesting as WACKY BLASTERS! Okay, well, I, I think I'm gonna go now. Yes, you do that. Go.